to add references to your drawing, you can right click and attach any of the different file types, or you can simply use the attach button up here on the insert tab of the ribbon. Uh, we're going to attach a drawing file. And in our case, we're gonna choose this floor plan drawing that I've got here and click open you're going to want to typically have overlay selected as your default and overlay attachment or xref is going to attach this drawing only to the one that we're currently working on which is drawing one now this is to say if later on down the road you have another drawing say production drawing number one and you reference our drawing one into it if all of your xrefs within drawing one are set to overlay, they are not going to show up in production drawing one. So the XRefs are going to get carried into as many other drawings as you reference them into. Overlays are only going to be referenced into the drawing that you're inserting them into. So we're gonna go back to our drawing and you're gonna get this pop-up in the bottom right here that one of your XRefs was modified. You can simply click this blue link and it's going to refresh your XRef or within your external references, you'll see that some of your files, if you have a bunch of XRefs, will need to be refreshed. You can also do that by right clicking on them and reloading them. We're going to click this link in the bottom right. And one of AutoCAD's newer features in the last few years is the XREF compare feature. This is on by default. And when you update an XREF, it's going to highlight the objects that have changed within the XREF. So you can kind of bounce between the two. You can turn on and off the the overlay showing where the old and the new differ and you can simply hit x to close that window and just go about your drafting and design so now you can see our xref has updated by doing that save and reload here and those two pieces of text have disappeared 